This is the F-47, America's future in the skies, the world's first sixth-generation fighter jet designed to be the most lethal, most advanced, and most dominant aircraft ever built. It's a machine meant to replace the legendary F-22 Raptor, ensuring American air superiority for decades to come. It boasts a combat radius of over a thousand nautical miles, far surpassing its predecessor, and is designed to command swarms of autonomous combat drones, a true flying command center. The Pentagon has promised it all, greater range, superior stealth, and a faster timeline. An experimental version has secretly been flying for nearly five years. But today, this vision of untouchable American power is facing a stark reality. The heart of this new machine, its revolutionary engine, is falling behind schedule. And the reason given points to a deep, strategic vulnerability that could ground America's ambitions before they ever truly take flight. The program to develop the F-47 as engine, known as the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion or NGAP, has hit a major snag. Official budget documents confirm the timeline has been pushed back by more than two years. What was supposed to be ready in late 2027 is now not expected until 2030 at the earliest. The official reason? Supply chain challenges. This isn't just a minor technical delay. This is a multi-billion dollar program, the cornerstone of future defense strategy, admitting it can't get the parts it needs on time. While the Air Force pushes an aggressive timeline to get the F-47 flying, it will likely have to do so without its next generation engine. This setback doesn't happen in a vacuum. It happens while America's chief rival is accelerating. For years, the narrative has been simple. The US innovates and China tries to copy. But in the race for the sixth generation, that story is becoming harder to sell. In late 2024, photos and videos began circulating online, allegedly showing not one, but two different Chinese sixth generation prototypes taking to the skies. American media called the test flights shocking. These aircraft, possibly designated the J-36 and J-50, appear to be large, tailless designs, a feature that suggests a focus on all aspect, broadband stealth. Some analysts even point to a unique and unprecedented three-engine design, potentially for sustained high-speed, high-altitude flight, a different philosophical approach to air dominance than America's. While some Western experts remain skeptical, citing China's historical struggles with advanced jet engines, the concern in the Pentagon is palpable. US Air Force Chief David Alvin has explicitly cited China's new fighters to stress the urgency of American programs. The fear is no longer just about China catching up, it's about China getting there first. The RAND Corporation's military scorecard has been tracking the closing gap in capabilities for years, showing that by 2017, the US advantage in air superiority over Taiwan had already shrunk to approximate parity. That was years before these new prototypes even appeared. So what are these supply chain challenges holding back America's super fighter? The answer is both simple and strategically terrifying. The F-47, a weapon designed to counter China, is critically dependent on China. Modern defense technology, from the powerful magnets in radar systems to the heat-resistant alloys in engines and the very coatings that make an aircraft stealthy, relies on a group of materials called rare earth elements. And the global master of rare earths is China. It's estimated that a staggering 87% of the supply chains for America's 153 main weapon systems rely on Chinese rare earth processing. For the F-47 specifically, at least four critical rare earths are almost entirely sourced from China. Beijing knows this. And it's beginning to squeeze. China has already imposed export restrictions on some of these strategic materials, a clear signal that it can turn off the tap whenever it chooses. To build the F-47, the Pentagon must rely on its number one adversary for the raw ingredients. It is a strategic blunder of historic proportions. It's like trying to build a castle while your enemy controls the quarry. This isn't just a supply chain issue, it's a geopolitical chokehold. While the program faces external threats from China's rapid progress and supply chain dominance, it's also battling a war on the home front, against its own cost, its own politics, and its own industrial base. Cost, the F-47 is projected to cost over $300 million per aircraft. That's more than double the cost of the F-22 it replaces, and nearly three times the cost of the already notoriously expensive F-35. 
The price tag became so astronomical that the Air Force had to pause the entire program in 2024 for a strategic review to see if it was even affordable or viable. Politics, the jet's very name, F-47, is a political statement announced by Donald Trump, the 47th president. This branding turns a critical piece of national security into what some critics call a vanity project. This political interference risks prioritizing deadlines and announcements over sound engineering and responsible budgeting. Industrial Base, the contract to build this technological marvel was awarded to Boeing. This was an existential win for a company whose defense arm was struggling and whose commercial side has been plagued by safety scandals, quality control failures, and massive losses on other government projects like the KC-46 tanker. Meanwhile, Lockheed Martin, the company that successfully built the F-22 and F-35 stealth fighters, was shut out of the Air Force program and later, the Navy's FAXX program as well. Now, in a bid to stay in the game, Lockheed is reportedly pitching a Super F-35, a heavily upgraded version of its existing jet, to compete. The Pentagon is essentially betting hundreds of billions of dollars on a struggling company to deliver the most complex fighter in history, on time and on budget. This internal turmoil is so severe that the Pentagon is now prioritizing the Air Force's F-47 by asking Congress to shift funds away from the Navy's own sixth-generation fighter program, the FAXX, warning that trying to build both at once risks delaying the higher-priority F-47. The race for the skies has entered a new uncertain phase. The United States started this marathon decades ago, with research beginning as early as 2007. It has the more ambitious design, the more advanced engine concept, and the more integrated family of systems approach. But America's program is a giant, lumbering beast, incredibly expensive, politically charged, and chained to the supply lines of its greatest rival. China, in contrast, appears to be moving with speed and focus, leveraging its industrial might and control over critical resources to close the technology gap. The delay of the F-47's engine is more than a headline, it's a symptom of a deeper problem. The challenge for America is no longer just about designing the best fighter jet. It's about whether the country's political and industrial systems are still capable of building it. The race for air supremacy in the 21st century may be won not by the nation with the most advanced blueprint, but by the one that can overcome its own internal hurdles to actually deliver. Right now, America is in a race against the clock, and increasingly a race against itself. That's it for today, thank you for watching.